All right, so I'm going to first review theme with you guys, um, or the lesson or moral, because you will be assessed over tomorrow, and I will go over all that tomorrow in Schoology. Um, but let's just review real quick. Um, I don't want to give you guys too much right before the test. So what is theme? Theme is the message, moral, or lesson in the story. So it's the lesson that um, the characters need to learn, but also that we can learn. So it needs to be worded as if everybody can learn it, not just the characters, but we can as well. Um, so like they say, remember a cream filled cupcake, the cream is hidden inside a cupcake, just like the theme is hidden inside a book. You have to make an inference or take a guess at what you think the author is trying to teach us. Okay. And you know, those examples do not trust everyone in Little Red Riding Hood or Hard work and patience pay off in the end in the three little pigs. So you are just looking for um, what you think the characters needed to learn. Why did they need to learn this? So, you know, it could be tell, always tell the truth. Um, do not lie. Um, always be friendly. Those types of things. So today I'm actually going to get into um, an opinion writing with you guys. I'm going to pull up my visual. So when I do opinion writing, I think of Oreo. So, you know, you have that big double stuffed Oreo. The top of the Oreo is the O, and it's to state your opinion. Because so you're going to give me your opinion on a topic. I'll give, you an, uh, I'll give you a topic, and then you'll tell me what you think. So it's not right or wrong. It's your opinion. So the first thing you'll do is you state your opinion. The R in Oreo is you're going to tell your reason. You're going to have to convince me why you think this. You're going to have to give me reasons to support your opinion. And then the E, you give me an example to support your opinion. And lastly, you just restate your opinion once more. The more reasons and examples you give, the stronger your writing is. And here are just a couple sentence starters. Um, as you start an opinion writing, you might say, I prefer this because, or I think, I feel, in my opinion, the best thing about blank is better, or I believe. So you could use any one of those to start your opinion writing. Today, I made it a little bit easier since it's the first day we're doing it, and I actually just uploaded an outline, and you're just filling in this outline, okay? So it's already got the sentence starters for you. You're just filling it in, okay? So we're going to read... Um, cats and dogs, and then you're going to give me your opinion. Would you rather have a cat as a pet or a dog as a pet? So both cats and dogs can be great family pets, but some families like cats best and others like dogs. One of the good things about cats is that they can be alone for a long time. They don't mind too much when their families are at school or work. Dogs can get lonely when they aren't around people. Cats and dogs both need exercise to be healthy but dogs need people to take them for walks. This can be good for the dogs and their owners. Cats do not need much training to live with people, but it's important to teach dogs manners. Well-trained dogs are fun and friendly. Which pet is right for you? So after reading this, you can find some details in here. So, you know, I'm, I would probably choose a dog. Um, so I would highlight positive things about a dog. Um, let's see. Well-trained dogs, and I don't want to do that. Well-trained dogs are fun and friendly. There's a positive, and there's other positives in there that you can highlight, and you can use in your opinion writing to give me reasons. So first thing you'll do is listen to the text, then fill in the blank spaces to complete the paragraph. So what I'm going to do first is they already got the I like. They got that opinion starter there. So I like, so you would just say, I would say dogs, because that's the one I'm choosing. I like dogs because, and then I got to give a reason. I like dogs because they can be fun and friendly, period. Another reason is, and if I look in the text, I can find another reason. And then lastly, this is your conclusion and your conclusion and you're just restating that is why I like blank the best so go ahead and fill this out this is just an introduction this is just to get familiar with opinion writing so if you have any if you have any questions um, feel free to reach out